Hello friends and welcome back to Let's Play EU4 as the Recedes. I hope you are uh, well on what for me is a Friday and the Friday after the launch of the new patch. However, because we are deep in this game, well, deep 20 years in this game almost, uh, we will not be upgrading to the new patch in order to preserve our game's uh, sanity and make sure nothing strange happens. Uh, and in addition, there are apparently a few bugs that need to be worked out in the new patch, so no reason to start a new game until the hotfix fixes those. With the news from the world of Paradox out of the way, let's move into our world here and review what was up. We are doing relatively well, all things considered. Even at full maintenance, we're running a nice little surplus. Well, not a nice one, but a little one. <laughs> And we have a 15 unit force limit, which isn't bad. Our troops do hit pretty well above their weight. Uh, we've even got two galleys and a cog to ferry our troops towards our African province, which does give us one of our age abilities there, present on two continents. We do have to work on getting at least one or two more of those up, I must say, because we, or I in particular in this case, like to take golden ages as early as possible to be honest because i believe in snowballing and the earlier you take it and can utilize it the faster you grow early on and that accrues over time all right enough intro stuff out of the way uh we must get the clock rolling i'm gonna pull our diplomat out of shirvan because shirvan is at relation limits and there's no reason to keep trying there instead i'm gonna just for fun uh, improve relations with the big boy over here and see if we can maybe get an alliance from them. Meanwhile, uh, bartering is increasing. That must be because of our inflation rate. Mm, that's never fun. Uh, either of these is really terrible. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's see. I mean, I kind of need my admin um, or I wanted it. But so be it. Um, that's not quite a good deal. That's a little bit of a punishment, but uh, this much autonomy in a lot of core provinces will drive our manpower and money into the ground. So not an option. I know that seems like the option you would take, but honestly, I don't think it is. All right, uh, other diplomats back. I'm gonna just put them improving ever so slightly here for a few months, uh, just in case we get the opportunity uh, to uh, start a little war. That war, as I mentioned in the last episode, would possibly be against Dowser, who, ah, I <laughs> speak of the devil. We gotta get this diplomat back right now. Where are you? Do not change, do not change, do not change. All right, I better uh, close it though and check again because, you know, otherwise you are just asking for a bug. All right, yes, that is what we were waiting for, for Anjam not to join in the war to defend Dowser. Uh, I should have moved my troops there even quicker, but uh, it'll be fine. Uh, our plan here then is to take a province or two from them, but the real plan is to subjugate Mahra. So with that said, let's declare the war right away, even though I usually like having my troops on the border. Don't want to take a risk that Ajam changes their mind. So head on in, buddy, and do your deed. Ah, uh, yes, the mission failed. That was the mission to improve relations with Mahara, which I knew would fail, but that is fine. Okay, come on a little bit quicker. There you go. Let's just um, drop the mercs here, I guess. Yeah, we will just drop the mercs here. We've got no general with them, though. That's fine. In fact, I think that it's more likely I'll lose men in battle, so I'm going to actually... Instead, maybe take my troops, the mercs with me. No, no, it's fine. Traditional strategy is always leave your mercs on sieges and you do the rest. Now, who are we at war against here? So we can figure out who else we need to deal with. No access there. Oh, ah, that's gonna reset his progress? No, did it reset his progress? I think it did. Something I'm gonna have to do, there we go. In my view, maybe run a tiny bit over force limit. He's gonna stay here. I'm gonna recruit another general. Mm, let me check if I've got enough ability to do that without running behind on tech. 
gonna be a close one. So I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna give the king the job. Uh, uh, with, with that three-year-old, oof. Um, you know what, I'm gonna disinherit him right when this war is over. So that we can give the king the job. Oh, excellent, just what I wanna see. All right, some siege pips definitely will be useful there. I should have um, yeah, moved him in already. I'm trying to pay attention here. Don't give me pop-ups. Uh, Kilwa, don't really care. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. That's about ready. I should have... Uh... All right, there we go. No, um, should have moved in and taken those territories sooner, but it'll give us some more score by taking these battles. Now, getting the king here on this siege... Holding off for just a minute till they lock. There we go. They're headed up somewhere, which is moderately annoying, but that's fine. I'll follow them later. Let's get the other guys up in here. Ah, yes. I wanted to think about building a spy network there then. Just to get a spy network on one. Oh, you're, you're that fast. Wow. Tell you what then. Let's drop one more. See if I can catch you, can I? Nope, but I can catch you. As long as these uh, Hormuzi separatists don't come and attack us. Oh, okay, let's see here. Who in the estates has... All right, side with the Ulama, side with the merchant guilds. We'll side with the merchant guilds. There we go, where are you going? Zufra. Oh, that's a bit irritating because I kind of need you uh, need to go through that province, but that's all right. We are uh, actually uh, they might be going even further. So we are at war then with no, not culture. I don't care about culture. These fellas. All right. So I do need to get over to Yaz. Let's see where the Hamuzi separatists are hanging out. Let's attach mercs as well. And anything else we need to take care of in the way of business? Nah, probably not. Oh, hey, Mara. Yeah, I'm gonna come that way then. Excellent, just a little bit safer. As long as we don't get the uh, access revoked the uh, minute we <laughs> get down there. Can happen. There we go, won the siege even. So they can head on over and start taking care of that siege. Anything we need to be paying attention to? No. We do need to uh, go and figure out where they're headed though. What kind of navy have they got? Nope, don't uh, do that. Guess I will check the ledger. I do hope, let's see, war enemies, country, navies. So, oh, nobody's got any navy, that's great. First thing I wanna do then is just kinda make sure maybe they can't leave there. Not sure if that works though. That looks like it's working. Dowasser, ah, hey guys. Oh, no, don't go fight yet, then. Whoop. Ah, now I scared him off. So, wait, shall lock? Lock. Come on, guys. You're locked. There we go. Mahara. Locked. All right. Good, good. It's a mountain province. It's a little bit of a shame, but it's fine. So, Monopoly Company has formed. Mm -hmm. Long-term investment, some extra dip power, or some money. Um, I'm a long-term thinker. You can always get money some other way. Yeah, that was a mountain port, so uh, unsurprising that that would happen. Who we got over there? Is Yaz at war with somebody else? They are. Oh. So they are under siege. Hmm. I will pull my spy out really quick and see if they're willing to, you know, just kind of say uh, we give up. 
Extension of life stock monopoly, great, yes. And the will monopoly, sure. Show province, diplomacy, super peace, nope, they're, they're resilient, aren't they? Oh, that's all right. We'll make do, I'm sure. We can actually get a technology, Diplotech. Mm hmm. Well, we shall do so. It's um, a bit expensive. Pardon, a bit of water. But we don't have enough uh, points to push an institution now. The, the main judge of that is are you far enough in mill tech to waste a lot of mill points pushing an institution? We are not. So we will just take the institution then, I mean, take the technology in order to keep ourselves relatively up to speed on that. Keep our spy network going there. I did uh, notice, of course, that we... They still sieging? No, they're not. All right, well, come on up then. I did notice, of course, that we have another option to, to summon the diet, but I'm not doing that at the moment because if we're at war, it's less likely, I think, to give us the mission to integrate our vassal without the dip rep penalty. Almost there. Are we going to get it? Oh, yas, man. They're going to come over here then. Going to have to watch out for these guys. Pull you out. They're going to try to siege down the war goal, which is bothersome. I doubt they are going to. I thought maybe since I'm sitting on their capital, they'll give up, but nope. All right, that's fine. Then I could leave um, one troop here. Yeah. Okay, what, I'm going to drop one just to keep that siege. And they are going to head down here as far as is needed. Oh, speaking of which, let's get our ships out here. Utilize these ships to blockade the port. That's lovely. Don't know where you're going. Straight from my capital? <laughs> no, no, you're turning around already. Got scared. Oh, I'm not attacking you in those mountain provinces. Looks like you're headed down here. Just have to let you think that it's all okay. Yeah, sure, guys. It's okay. Marriage with Miss Shasha. Mm, tell you what, I'm going to even leave that for a moment. Do, do, do. Just in case. Come on, guys. Yep, go up there. It's perfectly safe. There you go. That's fine. See, nothing to worry about. All right, got that down as well now. Great. Take care of their troops. Also good. Can just leave ourselves hanging out here, I guess. No more troops. Where do we got some loot? No loot there. A little bit there. There. How much? I know there's a map mode for this, but you know. All right, we can just send them up here then to pick up some loot. All right. Looks like this war between Varsang, Li, and Adal ended unclimactically. Interesting. Don't see much uh, change at all there. Oh, I guess I can pull the uh, spy out of there. Province, diplomacy, let's see if you'll, if you'll give up. You would, but you know I'd rather get a little bit of money out of you. The thing is we uh, you know, can't take a lot of land anyways due to AE. I believe that the rebels have all been eliminated, so might as well move the... Oh, no. I'll go the other way. So might as well get that little stack back with his main group. Oh, yes. I should be utilizing that diplomat, not wasting it. Might as well improve with Fazendoran. So, yes. I don't. Normally, I'm actually a fan of ending wars when the war's objectives are attained. Limited wars, not uh, wars of... Uh, you know, total war. However, um, since we can't take a lot of land and fight another war anyways, 
There we go. We're losing innovation. Ooh. Uh, all right, we can get the next Miltech. That's what matters. That's what's important. Great. All started there. We also have an option for some new, uh, just for new horses. Great. Okay. Sit in the back. Wait for the siege to end. Da -da. Oh, Adal's no longer a valid rival. What a shame, because I would like to try to, uh, you know. Humiliate a, humiliate a rival, but I don't want that rival to be too strong then. That siege is taking a little while, but we're like basically capped out of manpower anyways. I hope that my mercenaries, yeah, they still got okay manpower. There we go. Siege is done. Let's get them home. Loot is all done there anyways, so they might as well come home. As we might as well they. Well, the diplomat travels back. Peace deal with Yaz. Now there's nothing I can really do with Yaz. Yaz has one core, oh, two cores. Um, but I don't think that's really worth vassalizing. Mahra has lots of cores. So we're just gonna use Yaz for a couple things. Yaz is Sunni. Hmm. As much as I'm uh, a fan of, you know, not introducing more Shia into the world. It is lovely to uh, be able to get our force religion for the next age out of the way now on a nice small OPM. So I'm going to actually do that. Then I will also get a whole five ducats from you. Wow. I guess I'll get war reps, but I'm guessing this uh, country will not be long, around long enough to pay us those war reps. Give up claims in Hassa. How's Hassa feel about us? Not great. All right, this is actually something I like to do a lot and it's very effective for me. Uh, when I think I'm gonna be pushing aggressive expansion, I have them give up claims in their neighboring neighbors. You get some prestige out of it. Yeah, not a little, as much as canceling rival, but some. Um, but in this case, our AE is not high enough with Hassa to really worry about it, so I will have them end their rivalry with Hassa instead for the extra prestige. That looks good enough to me. There we go. Great. Next thing, just got to get our diplomat back. And we'll see if we can do this all in one go, but maybe, maybe not. We could take all the land even. And then, do do Dawasir, no. Yes, Mahra, vassal. Coalition of Hadramut. All right. I do wish you had a little bit more information there sometimes so that I could see who else is like getting close. I don't know. Hmm. So I want to look at this land and see if I think if it is worth it. I mean, there goes our religious unity even more. It's really a bunch of useless land, uh, but it's, you know, more land. And so it might be useful. It even opens up new opportunities uh, into Hassa, for instance, who has uh, very little manpower and everything. That's nice. Allied with Oman and Fars and Baluchistan. Ooh, Fars is a pain in the... I'm doing a Persia run, you know, for in my free time for just me. And, um, you know, before that I did a Hissen Kefa run as well. And Fars is always just take... You know, they're just always there. It takes so long to chip them down because of the AE with everybody else. Uh, everybody else, you just gobble right up. But, yeah, something about Fars. I always have a hard time with them. Okay. So that is, yeah, ideal. We'll take all of that and vassalize them. Um, I think we can handle it. Uh, we will then also, while we're even talking about it, to do tell our new vassal that please, you know, get some claims up on Oman because the key is going to be at to attack Oman and not Hassa. Yep, that's the key. All right. It's going to be a lot of uh, an admin power I don't want to spend, but oh well. That is all. Let's see. You know what? Since it costs, actually, I want to do it separately. And the reason I want to do it, meaning that we didn't really need to bother doing it with Yaz up here, I want to force my vassal's religion right away. Make you a vassal. And I'll take your money too, then, as well. Much more logical. Um, 
yeah, no rivals, unfortunately, so I can't make them do that. There we go. Welcome to the club. We are over our relationship limit, but that's something I do a lot. All right, that we're taking all their land, that, and nothing else is relevant. Good there. Come here, don't quit running away from me, provinces. There we go. Core, 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 and core. I did force their religion, correct? Okay. For some reason, I was going so automatic, you know, that I was like, uh oh, <laughs> don't tell me I forgot. All right, my friends, um, get a claim up. I know you don't like me, but you're loyal though, amazingly. Hmm. All right. Like, not the tab I was looking for. Yeah, you know, you're loyal enough. How is Adon feeling? All right, not great. They need a hug. Everybody come to the capital. And in fact, let's um, take a look at our balance here. Let's lower our maintenance to half just for a little while while I figure out what is next on our plan and keep improving relations with Adon so that they are ready to be annexed later. Let's not forget to bring our ships home. And considering our future potential wars, I want to take a quick look at the ledger. And not look at my war enemies. Boop, boom, 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 boom. Check how many galleys they've got. None, that's good. I'm sure Azurin has galleys though, right? Um, no, they have heavies, <laughs> two of them. So that would be about six galleys. Good, all right. Um, who else down there is of importance, navy-wise? Ah, a dollar. I should check them at least. Not that they matter that much. They also have no galleys. All right, great. Because that means with the uh, little bit of extra money I got, I can maybe invest in a ship or two more. Hmm. Can't do a mosque yet, can we? Can we? Did we already get Moss technology? Oh, we did. I guess. Really? Seems odd. Maybe I, uh, I, I, I'm so out of it. Where? Why is your city so great with... Wow, that's got just a, a lot of tax ability. All right, tell you what. I'm going to uh, get a tax facility up there then. And then we'll need one in Sana as well. Those are just pretty good returns, I must say. Uh, lower fort maintenance as well. All right, looks pretty decent. Uh, let's get those troops home, and then I can stop and reflect more effectively. In fact, I probably shouldn't really send them all the way. I'm going to just have to send them back. Oh, I should uh, immediately look at my new rivals, though, too, before I start losing power projection. All right, I'm almost scared to see what the options are. Timurids, yeah, sure. Timmy's a great option. <laughs> no army right now, though. <laughs> Oh, how the mighty hath fallen. QQ and Timmy having bad games. Um, well, Omen is a definite must, though. Good. All right, let's get the armies up and running. How are you feeling about us over there, buddies? You love us. Oh, that's, um, that's nice. Willing to do anything about that? Yes, you are. Well, that is good. I mean, it's not really useful, to be honest, but they got a big army. They might have some manpower at some point, though very often the manpower over in this area of the world is a uh, bad genre. Mm. They, have, they, are, they are the bane in my existence of many games as well. Uh, Meanwhile, I usually see die, which is sad. And then I usually bring them back to get all their cores back. All right, so um, it feels like now we're getting even more um, uh, alliances that are, and we're going to be really over our cap but this could be critical for deterring. So we're gonna start with the Alliance. Go even more of our cap. We can invite a Scholar then, yay. And the Scholar we can invite is Shock Damage. So that will pair very well with our Shock Damage received, meaning we are going to do it despite the admin. Well, we're gonna do it in the next war. Our relations are good enough that they're not gonna go down anytime soon. Hopefully they'll Take the initiative and offer us a royal marriage. I could end the alliance with Mushasha to save a dip slot. 
But Musashi is close and thus useful, assuming that they are not, you know, eaten by fars completely, which is possible. I'm not going to marry them. I'll hold off, though. I'm making the decision until I see how this war pans out. And these fellas I need also just for general, you know, helping in the area. So what should I do with my diplomat then? Well, uh, you can come home from there. And you can go back to Adam. There we go. And Mahra can just you know, wait until the other diplomat's back. And then maybe I start improving relations just a little bit. We have a truce with them until... 71 February. Same as you, isn't it? It's the same truce. Um, no, that was a little bit less. 1470. Diplomatic Mu'ab. All right, I can improve relations with Hijaz, who's a vassal. That was irrelevant to me. Or appoint new diplomats. Yeah, let's appoint new diplomats, get a bit of extra dip power. And let's improve relations with Mahra just a little bit. Oh, you'll even take a royal marriage here. So let me do that and wait till the end of the month. Let's make sure the king is not sitting with the army, though. And kill time. There we go. That's what I was waiting for at the end of the month, because what I wanted to do is just run them over to Mahra really quick and wait till the 7th, propose a royal marriage, then move them back to Adan to continue the improving relationship efforts. Wait till the 1st of December. Good. Oh, we're done improving relations with Adan. That is a, that is a bit of a bother. Uh, it's because we force vassalize them, and that's taking a while to uh, recover. Um, and also, we didn't uh, convert them at the time. I wonder why I didn't do that. That was foolish. Probably I didn't have enough war score. I just was still getting into it. Now would be a little bit late. Their liberty desire would go quite high. Um, I don't really just want to spend some money to bribe them, so I'm probably just going to hold off a little while longer before annexing them. Just a little while. At least make sure that they are that they only need one gift. So that, and I'll do the math later. Then 25 less than 190 is what you know 165. So I need to get up to you know eight more, which means I probably need oh a couple more years, a couple more years, but not many. All right, how are we doing on time? Seems to have gone really quick. We're almost at time, uh, but not quite. So let's get that diplomat back and let's take a quick look around then and figure out our next steps. One will be to attack Omen as soon as our vassal gets a claim up. So we hope, please get a claim up, please. Um, the other will be to get a claim up on Hassa as well in case we have to direct, uh, directly attack them. It may be that Fars is distracted at some point. They're not doing terribly well, so possibility. Oh, in fact, even now. Hmm. That would, and then we could drag in Omen and Baluchistan. Baluchistan, where are you? Oh, right, good, good. You're not doing well at all. All right, I think that actually might be our plan and what we might even do to expedite this process. Uh, but I will decide at the beginning of next episode is sanction holy war. And that way we can just get claims on all these provinces and save us a lot of um, time coring, cost coring. It's a shame that we don't actually like, literally own Mahra, but that's fine. Uh, we can also do something then with Oman and start grabbing that. And the reason Oman is such a such a nice target is because they're a body and uh, people will just not care quite as much that we are taking land from them. We can, before we wrap up, just run through some of our things here and see if there's anything we're missing. Um, we can convert, but it's uh, too long and too expensive of a process still because as a Shia, we're always going to be hanging out on this end of the, the spectrum here because all of our wars will be against Sunnis. So it's going to be hard to increase our missionary strength via the uh, piety slider. That's all right. So let's not convert. That's just claims, missions. We do have subjects now. I won't be clicking the button, though. We still have the high income. I could have saved some money on that. Uh, oof, and it's too late to cancel it, I bet, as well, isn't it? Um, oh, yep. 
so I was too late to cancel that. Um, I'm always worried about hitting that button. Decisions, what do we got here? Can we do that? Wait, how can we do that now? I thought we couldn't do that last time I looked. I'm almost 100% certain. That's peculiar. I could have sworn last time I looked at this, I could not form Yemen because that was not a core. I must have been looking at something else. What was it though? That's really odd. Hmm. All right. Um, anyways, uh, let's take a look. Well, I'll look again in a second. We can reduce our national unrest. We'll move towards legalism. Oh, we're already moving towards legalism. Let's keep at it. And we can get this one as well. I should have paid attention to this sooner. I mean, this, these change whenever you get a new king, but it doesn't matter anyways. Uh, this will give us some missionary strength versus heretics versus versus. Uh, that does get us a little bit closer, I must say. And I may actually just start doing some converting at the beginning of the next episode, particularly around here. Once we flip on the uh, you know, enforced religious unity, I'll just do the math and think about my goals during the pause so that I make sure I'm not spending too much money on the uh, missionaries when they should be spending them on perhaps mercenaries or something. Uh, mercenaries, still 2,000 manpower, great. All right, uh, still, we probably would have enough for this advisor almost. Yeah, yeah almost. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to hold off just a second. I guess it would be the tax person. Wish there was somebody more appealing. All right, and relations, that's it. All right, I guess I'll wrap up. I said all right a lot, didn't I? Uh, maybe that's uh, my new speech pattern thing. I don't want to be known as the all right guy. Uh, it sounds like something from, I don't know, the uh, an 80 infomercial or something. So we grew a little bit. Excellent. It's all desert wasteland, but you know, it opens up excellent new opportunities for us over here. Um, I'm hoping that our AE is not too bad still, so that we can actually take as much as possible. I, I'd like to take, you know, as I'd like to take it all, to be honest, uh, but that's probably not possible, but as much as possible. With that, I will let you go. Uh, maybe quick scan around the world before we do so. Ottomans haven't moved south yet. Uh, they are not, at least not allied with Q AQ or Karaman. That's good. Otherwise, they tend to get blocked off there. It looks like, who is here? Crimea. Mm. That's a little enclave that Crimea has there, of course. Ah, that's because they vassalized Emeretia. Ajam doing just fine. Timmy getting eaten. All right. And our new big buddies over here doing just fine as well. Um, I'm not sure if it was worth it, but I think it'll scare off some people, if nothing else. They won't think that it'll take the, uh, the Bahamas armies, bah Bahmanis, I got to work on that. Uh, it will take their army, you know, two years to march over to rescue us when the Mamluks come. But that's all right. I feel safer already. Have a good t evening now. See you next time. Thank you for joining me. Do like and subscribe, and I will, you know, try to make more of these. Um, certainly, especially for EU4, but those of you who are keen on my old Rome games, don't worry, I'm going to go back to that soon, too. Take care again. Ciao.